Live on the next few minutes. Prepare to dive deeper. Welcome to episode 7 everybody Welcome to the fucking zoo We in the zoo I have my guest today O-Toke, O-T-O motherfucking K, baby. Yes, What's sir, up, yes, man? What's up, How you man? been doing? How you doing, buddy? I'm good, man. How's everything been? It's been a while, man. How yeah. long has it been? Three fucking long years? Oh, it's been a... F- I always been... It's crazy how time really goes, man. It's yeah, been- dude. It's crazy how your time drifts and you just eventually just, like, stop talking, you know? Just with your, you know, people you were <laughs> every day with, you know? You were with with every day, but that's how high school goes. That's how yep, high school goes, yeah. man. Yeah. You know, man, shit. It's... Are we here though, you know? Yeah, dude, I see you with your rap career, dude. You blowing up, dude. You looking ah, good, dude. Nah, man. dude, nah, you're looking good, bro. You're looking Fair good, enough, dude. Nah, now you're going yeah, through, you're sure. going, you're going in a professional, bro. So talk to me. Appreciate how, you. how'd you start up in this, man? So really, how everything came along, um, just how we saying, you know, since high school and everything. Um, I was playing ball a little bit after high school. And, um, shortly after I stopped playing, the whole story to this shit. <laughs> yeah, no, I go ahead. But um, on. you know, there was, episode, some, there was some influences in my in my life at the time, and you know, if you know me from you know growing up and playing ball together, you know, I was like mu- like music and shit. Yeah, always, 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 yeah. always in the locker room, always locker room talking, talking about even rap culture yeah. and back then, rap even, culture and yeah, everything. You're very sophisticated about it. Yeah, right? and um, very savvy. Yeah, I was definitely you know that's like a big part of my life, and I was always um, but that was always to myself. I never mm. really showcased that because um. You know, going back to playing ball and everything, um, I always anything I did in life, I always did it. Um, hundred percent, hundred percent. Balls deep, man. All the way through. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> That's how you, we said in my last podcast, hey, I should have to go hey, into hey, life, hey, man. Hey, ha. <laughs> 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 nah, but um, for sure, like definitely, um, you know, went hard at what I did, and um, I didn't really get to showcase, you know, the other things I was, you know, talented in life, and mm-hmm. um, with the influences having in my life at the time. Uh, you know, I just got to being surrounded around studios and seeing really how to, you know, work your craft. And yeah, you it. got you got really on hands on with it. You know, yeah, what I mean? you weren't just, you know, on YouTube watching videos and really liked it. You were yeah. behind the scenes. Whatever yeah, I was behind the scenes of everything and seeing how people were really doing it. And I feel like when my opportunity came, you know, to just to start and everything. Uh, I just took an opportunity of how everything, you know, just came into my face, you know, at the time. Yeah, now I'm here, you know. Yeah, now you're, now you're here, dude. Now you're doing it real life, dude. Now you're, you came, yeah. you came all, you came all the way over. You came all, you came all the way through it, dude. You went through, you went through everything in the background. You saw it. Yeah. Now you want to do it, bro. Now you're trying to achieve it, bro. Yeah, now you know all these opportunities just coming my way, and uh, I got projects coming on the way. Yeah, um, dude, you're staying busy, bro. Yeah, I I even got a tour coming up. Um, I mean with this whole COVID shit that. It's fucking um, everything yeah, up. Yeah, it's dude. fucking everything up. But um, I got a tour scheduled for uh, spring break. Nice, dude. Nice, uh, dude. We're yeah. Definitely gonna be back. You know, we're definitely gonna be back to normal back then. So, dude, yeah. high hopes for that. Yeah, for sure. I hope. I really hope it goes through. Like, I was just on the phone with um the tour manager and everything. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be in um South Padre Island. It's like a big um spring break type of place. Nice, nice, nice. So, I mean, this whole COVID shit is just crazy. But dude, fuck it, dude. Everybody just wear a fucking mask and get your vaccines and go fucking yeah. party with. Don't O-toke, get your bro. vaccines. Party with yo, fucking Otok, dude. Do not get your vaccines. <laughs> now nah, let the let the dumbasses get. Let the dumbasses get. That shit will fucking kill it. you, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. For nah, sure, for real. You're putting five G yeah. in your body. No, yeah. Ah, let's not get into. <laughs> nah, let's not get into. <laughs> <laughs> yo, um, nah. So you know. You were around all these influences. Obviously, you had a, probably a yeah. good friend group. Uh, hopefully, do you have like a loyal friend group, Lo- uh, loyal, loyal little squad? Circle gets smaller every year. You yeah. Know? If, yeah, I mean, I if they're not in the pictures that. no more. They're not, you know, yeah, they're you not know, around. The That's real, the real ones, the real ones stay around you. You know, for sure, I mean? the real ones yeah. stay around. And you know, uh, like so, having like keep always keeping your circle small. You know, what I mean, keeping the loyal people in there. Yeah. So you know, uh, do you have like a small little crew you move with? You know, that you're trying to be successful with? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, right now I'm trying to. Right now I'm at the point in my life where. I'm getting everything started yeah. So I'm really trying to I'm a consistent guy I like working with the same people But I like You know growing as well I, I feel But um, I like having a consistent group of people around Seeing the same faces And you know no matter How far apart I'm Sorry my pops yeah. was calling me man I <laughs> yeah. Family dad, comes first man Yeah dad I'm in, yeah. I'm in, I'm in this shit deep bro Alright <laughs> Bro uh, so uh, you know Oh yeah your small circle You know yeah. you know, coming through your small circle You're trying to be successful oh, yeah, In your yeah, small yeah, circle sure. Yeah so um, basically I like working you know, I like stay. I'm, I'm a loyal person. I like staying loyal to the same people. Like right now, I have about say I got like five, five, six videos right now. Mm-hmm. I feel you. Um, that they're not out and they're all done with the same uh, camera guy. Editing group, yeah, you know, yeah, because yeah, I, I, I feel like 
the more you work with someone, the more you grow and the better you could get. Yeah, dude, it's like a team. It's like a exactly. team, bro. It's yeah, like yeah. a fucking so, team. Um, dude. Yeah. But yeah, um, shout out to my cameraman, Young Mizu, man. He's yeah, shout doing out. phenomenal work. And right, I, yeah, he's he's, he's doing be- good. He's the best cameraman in the game right now. If you haven't seen his work, like you gotta go. Nah, check I him saw out. your first video, dude. I remember yeah. I was watching it, and me and my boys mm-hmm. were watching. I was like, yo, it's very professional, dude. Yeah. For, especially for your first video. Yeah, and that's what I like. That's what I like about you. Like you, obviously, clearly, you know, you you had this idea for a while that you wanted to jump into the mm-hmm. rap game. You want to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, but you went a professional route with it. You exactly. wanted you wanted to produce something very mm. professionally, you know, put it out. You didn't want to just uh record it on your phone, you know, and just <laughs> put it <laughs> yeah, out there, you know it. what I mean? You wanted to you wanted to show the art with the mm-hmm. visual and the audio at the same time yeah. and you wanted and you wanted to express it in a in a in, a, in a just a fucking funk feng shui ass way and just mm-hmm. a feng shui ass way. You know what I mean? Yeah, and nah. I feel and I fuck with that. Yeah, nah, I appreciate that, bro. Um, and yeah, that, but going back to how this whole shit started, I never really did it because I never saw the quality in it. Um, like you know, if I do anything in my life, I'm always gonna do it the best way I can. I feel because that's like the mark I want to leave, and that's really the the reason why I started all of this. Because um, you know, when I was playing ball, you know, I, was, I wanted to set records, and that's I feel like that's the way me leaving myself yeah. my my mark. Set records and, um, and just in general, just yeah, in life itself. Yeah, just yeah, you know, you. set records. And There's I feel always like, something bigger too that you're always yeah, trying and to. And something achieve. that always attracted me about music is, is um the fact that it's forever. Yeah. Music is here forever. So if you're not here tomorrow, if I'm not here tomorrow, you can hear that music and really reflect on the person's time and what they were going through in life. Yeah, yeah. And that's the biggest thing about it. Like I never like no matter. I don't know how far this shit gonna go. Mm-hmm. I mean. But you're I be having on, dreams you're like and sometimes going. I ain't gonna lie. Like I feel like everything I did in my life, I already did it. Yeah. And as things go along, I feel like it's just one step closer to where I'm supposed to be. Like from my first song to the videos to even the tour I got lined up to being here with you, man. Like yeah, just all, all the opportunities all this, that are coming up to you. You know, yeah. it's like I envisioned this, but I envisioned it doing it the right way, and I just waited for my opportunity. Yeah, oh, and, I like how you said that, dude. Yeah, I like how you 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 work towards it, but you didn't yeah. force it. You know, what yeah. I mean? Like I could have been doing this, I could have been doing this forever. Yeah, but it wouldn't have it would have been right. Like I could have released my first song and shit when I was in high school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I I didn't do it because I wouldn't. Just I was. Been it. It, wouldn't it just wouldn't have been, have been the yeah. vibe, and yeah, it I waited till the opportunity came. And you know, shit, a lot of shit happened the past two years. Like a lot of people I was cool with, no longer cool with them. Mm-hmm. Life experiences, you know, life dude. experience. I, I yeah, just building your character, dude. Yeah, I man. Mean, people, people change and shit. Dude, you're still gonna have. You see how how real people years, are when, you know? when 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 as real when the real your life gets. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, yo, this beats fire right here, bro. It is. Yeah, nah, this shit's it sick. Is? It's like, wow. Yeah. Nah, but yeah, <laughs> um. Yeah, like it's crazy. Um, I just waited for the opportunity when it came, and you know, I just took it and ran with it. Like mm-hmm. from studio time to just working with my camera guy, like it's a blessing. And like I look into everybody I'm, that's in my life right now. I got like a real nice team from my camera guy to you know everybody, even like certain people in my family. Everybody I'm talking to, just really support everybody who's supposed to be in my life, they in my life, and everybody who's not in my life. Got cut out at the right time because certain people hold you back from doing a lot of shit in life. That's what a lot of certain friend groups, a lot of in, yeah, in high yeah, school, yeah. a lot of people get stuck in so, the certain um, friend groups, dude, and they stuck yeah. to the same old so, shit. Dude. Like, I'm so happy with everybody that's in my life right now. I really, I'm so thankful, and like, there's so much work to come, so much things to do, and I just hope I keep letting this shit, you know, this shit keep going the way it's going. It's going right to the top, man. Yeah, real. I feel you. Like, so, uh, so I want to ask you, dude. Like, just uh, you know, to put you know, put people mm-hmm. out for you know. To, I want to know how do you yeah. stay on your fucking p's and q's, dog? How, you how do you stay on your p's, p's and q's? q's Let so me know. I, how you you know staying your p's and q's is just being you know staying ten toes down. You know, always looking around. Like when you don't want to do it, you got to do it. Yeah. You know, no matter <laughs> no matter how you rush, you always got you know. Shit, yeah, check yeah, your, you got to check your rear view mirror. Yeah. You got to check your lens before you turn. You know, if you don't look left and right, if you don't see where you're going. You're just gonna. Yeah, you gonna fall in your ass, man. You gotta, you gotta stay alert. I feel at all times. And you know and also in your song, you also talk about you know your grandmother. You big grandma's boy too. Yeah, man. Yeah, you big grandma's boy. It, and yeah, yeah that, mommy's boy and grandma's boy. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, shout out to shout out to ladies. I was you know. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to the ladies in my life. <laughs> my shout family. out to ladies. Yeah, shout out to the ladies. Shout out yeah. to my grandma, man. Yeah. Um, she definitely. You know, I hope she has a speedy recovery. She's actually in the hospital right oh, now. Man, I'm sorry about that. So yeah, she's yeah, good. yeah, Don't for worry. sure. Appreciate Hops. you, man. She got she got a little surgery done. She's gonna come home strong. She just she's a very strong person. Um, I feel like of all the people in my family, 
it, she like has like the biggest balls because she was the first person to come to America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a funny way. Yeah, that's a funny way. Yeah, 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 a funny way think, nah, yeah. but yeah, like for real, like she was the first person to come to America. My family, and um, she just you know everything that's happening right now. Mm-hmm. Like think about, it, I have a life. Um, you know, my mother and my uncle, and my mm-hmm. family and my siblings and shit like that. Yeah. They um they all have a life because of her because she decided. You know, she was the one that was gonna come in. You know. Set the set the tone, set dude. the tone, and yeah, I feel you, dude. And that's why you know I show love to her, you know. Yeah, she said she really did set the tone, yeah. man. She she gave you guys life pretty much. Yeah, for sure, bro. Shout out to my grandma. My <laughs> shout grandma out, and I say shout out to Graham's Graham. So and also in your no, song, nah. if you say usually you say uh, if you pull up to my block, get baptized yeah. where I'm at. Does that you mean you're religious? Baptized. Are you a religious man? <laughs> <laughs> get baptized are you religious? Uh, you know, you're just a religious, yeah. uh, you're a religious <laughs> fanatic. You know, yeah, until, you know, pre- preaching God on those blocks. You know, yeah, man. You know, <laughs> sending my blessings out to people. Yeah, I feel you. Nah, <laughs> just I in feel case, you know. Yeah, I feel you. Know, yeah, for, for you sure, gotta set man. the tone. People can't get wrong. <laughs> get baptized while I'm not. Yeah, I feel you. So you know, uh, <laughs> we really, we really met through you know playing football. You know, mm-hmm. you know, really, you know, gr- like beating pretty, pretty much. Yeah. Beating the shit out of each other constantly yeah. on the field and on other on, on other teams and other people, so we kind of had we had like a good we had yeah. a good bond back then, dude. Definitely. We, uh, we and I feel like teamwork. Yeah. yeah, and that's why I'm going back to the whole like it's been like three years. I yeah. honestly feel like we just advancing ourselves, but like it feels like we're still in the locker room right now. Like I'm like it was good. Like yeah, yo, and it, that vibe is um that's a that's a good bond right there, and that's how I feel like with a lot of people at work, but um. Um, wait, we talking about <laughs> we talking about bonds, right? Yeah, bond. Yeah, but you know, a good bond. Yeah, because yeah. like uh, you know, like especially you know, talking to uh, you know, especially working with a team. You know, yeah. You pro- like we we haven't talked in three years, dude. Uh-huh. We and we sat down, dude. Like it was like nothing, like dude. Like I saw you the yeah. other day. The other day you said you said I had a month. Like you heard my fucking name outside. I heard Bro, my voice. It's crazy. Some as shit. soon as you you invited me out here, um, you know, it's so far to do this with someone that um I put in work with. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like we did this shit. On the field, and now we doing it within uh, two steps going into the right direction. Yeah, I feel where we want to go in life. Like, we want to take this to the top, mm-hmm. you know. And I want to take this to the top, and I feel like this is just one of our journeys in life. Have you? Do you read books? Uh, I mean, I listen audio books. You listen audio. I yeah. um, I really recommend you checking out a book called The Alchemist. Mm-hmm. What is that about? Um, it's about uh, this boy named Santiago, mm-hmm. and he's really on his journey of life. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's, it's a book written by uh, Paul Co- Coelho. Mm-hmm. Um. He's a really, really powerful um, uh, book writer, mm. and um, I feel like right now that's that's us on where we want, where we are in our lives. Yeah, I feel you. Um, and this is just a part of our journeys. Yeah, it's like we all have our individual path, yeah. and you know, you know, you know, it's crazy that you know we might think we went through so much shit now. You mm. know what I mean? We might, we might think we are, uh, we're set. You know, like oh yeah. fuck, dude, my past was crazy, but we got a hundred more years left on this planet if Man, we keep on saying. pushing, bro. And there's yeah. gonna be a lot more, a lot more times we're gonna be like, mm-hmm. damn, dude, I've been through it. You know, there's yeah. gonna be a lot more. And it's times. only gonna get crazier. Yeah. That's a crazy thing. How do you, uh, you know, you know, talking from a personal experience uh, for you, uh, yeah. maybe to help other people. Like, how do you think you keep on pushing through, like, the, you know, the bad shit or like to keep on the sucker shit? The, you know what I mean? The sucker shit. I, you know, what pushes me through that is knowing that. No matter, you know, how hard life gets, anytime I go through a hard situation, I tell myself pain is only temporary. Like, that's really how I live my life. Because pain is temporary. Like, and I take that back to, you know, like just the grind, you know, hustling, you know, working hard. Like, you know, for example, you working out, you on that last plank, shit hurts. You want yeah. six seconds you're going, <laughs> yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and, you know, I think about, oh, there's only 10 seconds left. Yeah, it's pain it's is worth it Everything end. is timed, you know, from the, from the day we were born to the time we were born, you know? Yeah. Like, it's a real fact Like I was, I was born January 5th 1998 2.14pm Monday Damn and I don't know my shit Look it's Fucking What do you December, count down the days? What, December, How many days 12, ago? What, December 11th 7.30pm Yeah you know, Everything's being time Everything's being time man. <laughs> Like you know what I'm saying Like, Yeah dude You've been alive since that time Dude you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> No 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 For sure like it's not It's really crazy If you really think about it Yeah Um, But Yeah like You know I just got You got Shit do you, do you, how do you put like how do you push that, that's that's why I push yeah we talk about <laughs> nah nah you're good you're good it's good yeah I'm nah it's good we smoked yeah. that CBD blunt before that you know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying <laughs> oh the zaza <laughs> nah but um yeah that's that's what pushes me through um you know just saying I paint is temporary as bad as like as bad as life gets you know I always know that it's gonna get better yeah and you always and you once always you hit, have once you hit the too. bottom there's nothing under that. 
Yeah, I feel there might be if it's just, if life gets worse, but it might be. But when you at your worst in life, no matter what happens, just know it can only get better. Yeah, I feel and, you know it starts with you. You know, just yeah. and you can change it, dude. Like no one yeah, else is gonna change it yeah. for you. You're not gonna get into a relationship, and your life's gonna get better. Yeah, you always sure. gotta change your life for yourself, dude. Mm-hmm. And I feel that. Yeah, and that's really you know what what gets me through the adversity in life because I be there be times I be like, oh shit, like, like you gotta ask yourself like who yo, who you do it for like. Mm-hmm. And that's when you know life, you know, has rock bottom. You just you down like yo, who I do this shit for? And you gotta remember, you do you do everything for yourself because you know, at the end of the day, no matter you know who's there for you in life, do what you want in life because and at the end of this shit, it's only gonna be you by yourself. I feel you for sure. So like, I do this shit for myself and you know the, the future because a lot of times people don't. The problem with people is that I feel like um people feel like no one could relate to them, so people be in their own bubble and shit. Yeah, I feel that and um. I stick to myself because, yeah, maybe some, you know, so-and-so won't and go, you know, see what I'm worth and mm-hmm. see what's really, you know, what's special about me. But, you know, maybe, you know, 10, 15, 20 years from now, someone's going to, you know, be like, hear what I got to say yeah. and they're going to feel it. And, mm-hmm. you know, as long as you, you know, you're pushing that message, that's what it's about. Because yeah. I, there's so many people that, you know, as I was growing up, I looked up to. And yeah, um, who was like your influences? They, yeah. Um, so so I did, with my influences... Uh, you know, I just see, I look into, so a lot, a lot of my music, actually, I, I like to think about certain family members in my life because, um, you know, where I'm, where I'm from, my family, um, from a small island, it's called Susak. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's an island in, you know, off Croatia. Well, it's from, it's Croatia, yeah, it's Croatia. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, it's not up front, it's an island. So, yeah, yeah anyways, um, I look, I look up to those, to those family members, you know, who, who came here. I feel like everyone has a story and there's only like 200 people on the island right now. Mm-hmm. Which is like One of the craziest things. That's what yeah, I mean It's like a small ass yeah. population Everybody knows each other It's like a high school yeah, yeah For real So like um, And You know unfortunately I feel like a lot of people You know they, they Went other places And stuff like that So But there's only like Six Like six seven eight You know surnames Like last names Of the island and shit um, So like when I go to the cemetery And shit like that You know um, To see some of my family members Like I only see my last name And shit And that's yeah. another reason why You know I really Take this music shit so serious Cause I feel like you know that's that's what pushes me. Like in my next song, um, yeah, because like your rep- your last name represents a lot. Yeah, yeah, and um, that's why I named my you know even my name to my first song. My, my name is Otok. Otok, yeah. Which a lot of people don't know. Um, it means island in um in Croatian. Otok. Mm. And my first song was called Susak. Yeah, yeah I was gonna ask you all that. Yeah, my yeah. island is Susak. So um, Su- uh, island of Susak. Otok Susak. So mm. it's like everything is like from the t- from the top. Basically, it's like with my song name. And all the songs after that are like a bunch of like little islands that they own. I like to, you know, I really think about this shit, you know. So like, it's crazy. I get deep into it. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. It. Like, it's, it. it's crazy. You have a purpose. Yeah, I feel like you have a purpose. Yeah, I got a purpose. Yeah. I feel like I got to talk about this shit because you know, bring more stuff. No one else will know. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, like for like after me, and I speak the language uh, fluently. Like mm-hmm. a lot of people don't know because I I don't look like I'm I'm mixing shit, so I don't yeah, really, you know, look like the typical yeah. person. But I speak it like yeah. fluently. Yeah. So it's really um. It's like it's a really crazy experience. Like even when I go over there and shit, like people don't you know, see. It. And like I talk to people and I'm like, "What? Like who the fuck? Like what's your last name? Who, who's your who's your aunt and shit like that?" And um, yeah, like it's crazy. But that comes to um, to just me being you know raised and being around the people over here that just you know changed my life and shit. So in um, your so in your upcoming music, man, uh, what what do you think is influencing you to uh, you know to keep on going? Like what what, what is what is your uh, what is your uh, you know what is your creative goal? Like what is your um, what is what, what is your vision right now? So dude? right now, my vision for my music, like a lot of um, my first project um, that I have is is called um, this world and the next, mm. and um, I'm really talking about you know um, this is like a lot of it's not I wouldn't say dark but. I'm coming off like a crazy, like crazy year. Like a lot of, you know, a lot of shit hit the fan. You know, a lot like life right now could go into any direction. Yeah, I feel you. And um, you know, I'm taking it day by day, day by day as it is. Second. You know, and I'm always trying to better myself because um, you know, ain't nobody gonna do the work for me. So you know, we still going. She ain't stopping for no one. Um, so this the tape kind of there's a lot of pain in it, mm-hmm. but it's also um. Like a bunch of like harmonizing upbringing sounds, so it's almost like a, it's almost like a, like a, like a, it's like a movie, like it's like a, yeah, it's like you. a play, like this starts, like you know how like a, like a play starts off like you know the story and then some sadness and there's triumph and and like yeah, like this, the songs really they all go align together. They're very you know smooth and 
It's very, it's a very nice project. Like a story each song. Yeah, I'm really each excited. Song, each song is a different thing. Yeah, yeah. and it's, you know, it's, you know, and it started with like my upbringing. So like my first song on it, like I made, it was called Oto Susak. Mm-hmm. So like that's like the start because you know that's where like my the roots of my family now. Like, I'm you know really diving into everything. Almost it's almost like a like a book, and it got yeah, each song is is its own you know it's its own chapter. Mm-hmm. And the more you hear, is the more you're gonna learn about me. So um, yeah, it's real. So uh, you know, co- how do you now? How do you start with the now? Now I fucking I, I love your first video and your second video Appreciate looks fire. You. I saw the preview of it. Mm-hmm. Now how do you now? How do you go about making those videos? Do you do you have do you have like someone you know like you know let's 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 do this or do you yeah. write it yourself? So my first video I did. Um, there's actually you know a real kind of cool story about mm-hmm. it. Um, so I was in Cali recently with um you know with the, you know with my the motherland the motherland of fives yo yeah you know what I'm saying <laughs> I was with I was with my team. Um, I was out there with my people, but my to my cameraman out there. Mm-hmm. Um, we actually shot a video in the past. You know, a couple things changed and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, so we actually went went out to Cali. You know, had a whole vibe set. It was crazy out there, man. Um, the whole experience out there was just overwhelming. <laughs> it was <laughs> so amazing. It was so yeah. cool to see all that stuff. Um, so yeah. Um, my first video started because um I showed my camera guy that song. Mm-hmm. And it's actually on one of the first. It's like, right, yeah, it's like one of the f- second. It's the second song I ever. It's probably my first, like my first actual song I actually did. But my first song I ever yet. did was me on the on the mic, really, you know, just spam some shit. But this mm-hmm. is like the first song I actually, you know, wrote down shit, you know, this feels for it. Um, and I showed it to my cameraman as I'm showing him the tape of songs I want to go out there and shoot my videos for. And he he heard my first song, um, the Susuk song. He was like, "Yo, bro, yo," he's like, "Yo, this shit fire." And he was like, nah, bro, we got to shoot a vid to this. So there was no plan for it. It was just really like, yo, like we got to do this. Like, yeah, 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 yeah right? I mean, um, I got Mizu. He was like, oh, he told me, he was like, yo, we got to shoot a video right out here right, right now for my brother. Like, I have these these three songs I want to shoot a video for. Um, Like, this is really not in the plan. Yeah. It's an old song. And he really said it wasn't, he really kind of like brought that shit back to life, man. Yeah, like, he was, shit was like, crazy. fuck it, dude. You have the opportunity right now. Let's just fucking do yeah, it. So yeah, so he uh, he really took over as far as you know coming with, coming up with ideas how to, you know how to set yourself up. Um, but these other songs I had in mind that uh, I also did a video for, like my next video. So remember that book I was talking about, The Alchemist? Yeah. Um, the next song is called Alchemy. Uh, so that whole video is basically um, it's like the start of my journey, and I'm talking about like you know a whole lot of energy. You know how you know the whole lot of you know this, this, this and whole, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your story, your story. Yeah, you yeah, want to so give like too story, much. Out. You want to give too so much. So it's, it's like yeah. a story about like you know, you know my legacy, how it came about. But then there's also like you know recent, you know recent flavors thrown in there. Yeah. So it's like you know it's like a it's like a mystical song. Like it's like the bees real you know real different. Like everything's real different. And like I'm kind of finding my own sound now. Yeah. So um yeah like this whole tape is really um like a start of something new. I'm not making it's it's a whole different sound. So if you heard my first song, th- this should be music like that in the future. But this yeah. whole this whole project is is different. And I yeah. feel like I'm only getting better from here on. Yeah, like, doing that. There's and, no and limit keep to this on, shit. And you, and you yeah. Keep on pushing. So yeah. uh, how do you how do you think you like you you get how do you get how do you think you get your uh, your your creative niche? Like where do you uh, do you, do you think like like do you think you had that entire yeah. your entire life? You know what I mean? All throughout high like obviously I knew it like in our in yeah. our early years of high school. Yeah, high but. Uh, I mean, our late years of high school, uh-huh. uh, but you know, early on, I'm talking about when you were a kid. Were you still fucking bump into the same old, like you know, to the shit? You know what I mean? And be like, yo, I think I want to do this when I'm older. Yeah. So, um, like I said, like working so hard at the time, you know, just playing ball and setting my mind on that. It's all I ever knew. But there was, there was so many times, like just being home, I actually write songs, and I, you know, like legit for hours, I would take mad long just you know writing songs. But it'll be it'll be like a hobby. It'll be something like. Like just, just, yeah, just you know, what I'm saying like I was just, but it would, it meant something to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like this whole thing right now is really not like um, it's not even a hobby. Like it's almost like I feel like I'm obligated to do this because um, like there's a message I you, know, you feel I, like if you're not doing it, you're like fuck. Why I'm like it's like I'm a waste of fucking yeah, time right now, dude. Like yeah. I feel like these you know all these people that, you know that like all these people in my life, like like I said like you know my last name is like then all the like all these. Like I have so many people that passed away, like in my family and shit. Like, I feel like I just, you know, I sit down, I sit by myself, mm. and I feel like you know they talking through me, like, yeah, like it's crazy, going, like yeah. this energy that comes to me when I talk about these songs and shit like that, like it's so powerful. Like, yeah, I feel you. There's some, it's more than just me, you know. Mm-hmm. Like I wouldn't be able to do this shit by myself, but yeah, it does go back to um, 
you know, my start. And just, you know, like I said, I was writing around, you know, just talking about, you know, a bunch of, you know, bullshit, mm-hmm. um, you know, when I was younger. But now I feel like it's actually it's skillful because I'm, I'm applying it to something real, something yeah. that, you know, I feel like it's just it's just a legacy in itself. You know, yeah, you got to hear it, though, like to, to really fill it out. Can't be on like a like a, a, a like you can't frequency. be on a, on a regular frequency. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. this shit's so like. It's different, yeah. It's different, yeah. You so, really gotta. It's for it's for every music, man. Growing up, who was your first like favorite hip hop influencer? Like, who was like, who is that? Like, you know, growing up, like, who said, "I fucking like, I, I, this is why yeah. I love hip hop." Hmm. Yeah, growing up, my hip hop influence. Uh, I, I mean, you know, growing up, I listened to like a lot of like, you know, I li- so growing up, I listened to a bunch of music. Yeah, it wasn't really someone. Who, I liked rap. Mm-hmm. Uh, my mom, she was into like. She likes like a like a old like eighties like a like like dance like like pop like you know pop music like yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying like, like that eighties shit that like disco blow, is that disco yeah, stuff yeah. I, I, yeah you know that, yeah, I feel. that funky shit <laughs> but my sister she likes like like house EDM music she mm-hmm. like she goes to them shits my uncle he likes old school rap and then you know um, my you know my pops my, my stuff pops he um he likes classic rock. Ooh, that's me, dude. He, I love class yeah. Rock. So this is the crazy thing in my life. Um, around third grade, I uh, I went to summer school. So it, it, like my life is just like yeah. I went to summer school in third grade. <laughs> 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 this is my, they threw me in a Catholic school. Yeah, and this yeah, has a lot to time. do with how my life, you know, yeah. especially my music influence. You know, coming around. Um, I'm in summer school in third grade. They put me in Catholic school, like uh, like second, third grade. Yeah, and that shit didn't go good. You know, I was I was in a bad you were a rebel. Yeah, those I guess nuns, a little yo, rebel. Those nuns beat yeah. the shit out of you. Yo, that was crazy in there. Yo, nun, the nuns are like the most ruthless yeah. part of the whole fucking so, Catholic um, church. Yeah, bro, that shit is crazy. And this plays like a whole influence of why I'm, you know, I'm the way I am right now. Yeah, like the way, like I learned so much. Like I basically, you know, just put a whole new, like there's a whole new motor in me, man. Like I was, I was born again, bro. It's crazy, like. Like just this whole th- so back to third grade, um, baptized motherfuckers. That's why, <laughs> yeah, yo, ba- you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I went to summer school in third grade because some crazy shit. I was doing good in school, so they yanked me out of there, and that's when they um, they put me in um, public school. Um, but that summer school, my my pops he was taking me to to summer school, the whole summer school, you know. And on Tuesdays there'll be something called Beat a Block Tuesday. It was on one one on one point one. It's like a radio yeah. station, um. And I'm listening to this classic rock, and you know, at the time, my music influences. I'm listening to like, I'm listening to like Maino, all of the above, like yeah, yeah, yeah. All of the above, oh, all of the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like, I like, yeah. I like a lot of soulful rap, yeah, which yeah. is gonna play a whole influence of you know how I just started, you know, making this type of this type of you know soulful music. I make mm-hmm. music for the soul, mm-hmm. like my my new shit. It's like a bunch of harmonizing shit, but it's soulful. You can really feel it. Like that's why I'm saying you got to be on the frequency for it. Um, See the frequencies. <laughs> that shit crazy. Nah, but um, so um, I'm I listen to like a lot of soulful shit. Um, but I like I, I started feeling music. I did it for the sound, like because it was soulful and it was catchy. And then as you get older and you know shit, shit started to happen, you start to you know really find your your real music influences. Um, or you know wherever you at in life. But so from third grade on, you know I was listening to classic rock, but I didn't like it. I was always trying to like, yo change the shit. I was a badass kid. I'm yeah, in yeah, yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. I'm like I get in the car. I'm like. I'm with this like I'm like you fucking like y'all I was so fucked up to <laughs> my positive I'm like you ugly as hell bad kid like I'm talking about bad kid yeah. I was in summer school and they're like all right you know what you can't go to like we tried you know helping this kid we tried putting him in Catholic school <laughs> we tried um, we tried they tried, tried, they tried saving me and you know <laughs> they, they put me in, they put me in public they tried school saving me and it's kind of, it's, it's actually you know I think this is where my life actually started to turn around because yeah. from that point on um. Uh, I had to summer school. I go to uh, Lincoln School for Fairview. You were like, "Oh damn, they God put me in public school." Do it. So I'm like, "So now I'm with you know I'm with like regular people, like people like <laughs> shit, people that are, you know people that are I bad like me. Yeah. I ain't a bad kid anymore. Yeah. I was actually a pretty good kid like compared to these people. <laughs> like I seen some yo but middle school is actually crazy. Think about that shit. That shit was wild. But um, but yeah, like I'm like okay, so like I just like got calmed down. Yeah, you know, and that's when um I fell in love with you know just. Just you know, just listen to my music, but um, it wasn't until like freshman year where I learned to appreciate that shit because um, 
Obviously, when I you're young, some, you're naive. Yeah, yeah. So, like, once yeah. I got to high school, yeah, you know, I calmed down. I'm starting to grow up. I'm a teenager. You know, I'm working so hard. I'm, you know, I'm playing sports, and um, something dramatic. You know, this is when like my whole family started kind of like, you know, falling apart. Mm-hmm. This is when like my life really starts to, you know, take a whole drift, and I start to, you know, really ask myself, who am I? Yeah. Um, you know, like it's time to really, like, whoa, like this much is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, you know, I almost, I ended up almost like, like, I almost ended up losing like a lot of people in my family. Like, my, like my father had went through some crazy things at the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and he's not even like my like my blood father. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, some some crazy shit happened to him. You know, and he I found out he had like a mental disorder. I didn't even know he was schizophrenic mm-hmm. my whole life. Yeah. Gr- um, you know, growing up around him. You know, my mom, you know, working and shit. And he's a lot older too. He's like he's like in his fifties. Yeah. And now he's in his sixties. Yeah. Um yeah, there was one day I woke up and I found uh it was just me and him. And me and him was never uh, like alone. Like he used to take me to summer school like back when I was third grade and you know, I was be growing up and shit. Yeah. He's always around. He, he don't he, he don't really do much because he's sick and I didn't know. Yeah. There was one time I'm fourteen, it's my first day of um practice. I was practicing with the varsity team at the time, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm 14. I got my first practice ever, bro. Like it's it's at Excited. 6 a.m. Yeah, and um, I wake up and he's and I wake up. You know, shit. I'm ready. All my fucking socks is ready. I'm, a, I'm 14 years old, and I'm taking this. You know, it's like my life at the time. I turned my whole life around that summer working out. Mm-hmm. I'm being like a you know kind of kid. You know, just find, trying to find myself. I felt like I found myself. Yeah, playing, playing football, sports. Yeah, yeah. yeah, got my whole shit. So I wake up to him. You know, screaming and shit. Like he he, just, he thought he was about to die. Mm. Like some wild shit So I found out um, Like he ended up Like screaming and shit the Neighbors started hearing And it's like 5am at the time and Like really? my practice is like at, I think we had to be there Like at 6.30 or something And uh, I found out he's um He's schizophrenic Like like later on Cause that Neighbors was he having, like, neighbors a, was he having like a He's thing? having a Yeah, yeah a whole episode Yeah Neighbors heard They started Somebody called police And then Where I lived at the um, So a lot of people Don't know this But mm. um, I was Like my whole life I, you know I say I just uh, Catholic school They put me in a uh, Lakers school And then from there I go to Cliffside And stuff like that my, The whole time I'm living in North Bergen mm-hmm. I don't even like 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 living in Fairview uh, yeah, 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 yeah I was yeah, using yeah. a fake address Come back, back A lot of people forth, didn't yeah. know that So they yeah. did that Cause they wanted me They didn't want me to be around Like um, you know Where I grew up in North Bergen And shit like that mm-hmm. So they put me in Cliffside um, So I'm going to high school Like I said First day of practice And I wake up to him Screaming He had an episode Somebody called the police Shit Ambulance came He was wilding He got like mm-hmm. a knife in his hand And uh, I found out he was schizophrenic Because they took him away mm-hmm. Yo It was crazy Like I'm, I'm I'm like oh shit And at the time I'm, I'm 14 I'm I'm probably like the same Like I'm I was, I'm tall and shit Yeah like, you were I'm tall same back height, then, yeah. Same height Like I look grown So whatever They, they take him and shit I'm like whoa What the fuck I'm tripping I got my first day of practice Yeah you just don't know what to do Like you, like, yeah. yeah I'm tripping I'm like oh shit Like what the fuck I still went Yeah and that's still the whole point. And that's your character dude. Yeah so That's I'm, a lot about I'm your a, character Yeah I mean um And I'm in class and shit All these fucking Like Like a lot Like nah you know, I fuck with people I went to school with But like a lot of people You know they, they Got a lot of shit Given to them and shit like that I feel like And I had this anger in me mm-hmm. I ain't know what the fuck happened Like people were like Are you taking this shit too serious like, I felt like I was in the wrong place Like And you know I started to reflect on my life And that's when I started To appreciate a lot of more people In my life Cause I started listening to his music and his music changed the way I listen to music. I started listening to classic rock. Yeah, like the Doors. Uh, I love the Doors, man. Yeah. Doors, my fake and favorite. No, but I, no, I it, listen, it, it, it changed. It changed your aspect and kind of life yeah, a little bit. You bro, really listen to crazy. The music. Like I listen, I, like so. I got my influence from there. People are strange. Angels. <laughs> <When you're laughs> yeah, man. Look okay. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know that about Bump. me. Like I feel like a lot of people read me wrong a lot yeah, of yeah. times. Um, like they look at me and they'll you know misjudge me. And shit. How do you want people to read you, my man? Uh. I don't want I don't I don't really want people to read me. I just like I feel like too many people. How do you judge. see yourself? Bro? How do I see myself? Man, I'm just like a I'm like a open soul, just flowing. Like I feel like I'm everything in one. Yeah, I feel you. Like and like this life's too short to be just one person. One, one person, thing. no one. You know, but then again, there ain't nothing wrong with you know doing one way because yeah, you know sometimes you know you know, the only way is the right way. Yeah. But I feel like I'm. I'm everything because of influences. Like there's too much um, influences that there's too many people that you know I've I've had these talks with, and like I feel like like I'm I got everybody's energy on my back. Mm-hmm. And I'm climbing it up the mountain. Yeah, and like 
I have to do it for all these people. Like, for example, like him, like my, my grandpa that, you know, passed away five years ago. Damn, sorry about that. Oh, uh, yeah, bro. Like, even my, I, I made a song recently the other day. It's called Egos. Mm-hmm. You, you, got, you, got, you guys are going to hear about it soon. It's a real fire song. A lot of people say it's like the best song I what made. What does yet. ego mean to you? Egos mean, what oh, it means to me. Hmm. <laughs> you I'll talk about in the song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But, um, you know, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of sauce out there I got coming. Yeah, I feel but, um, but yeah, what what does the everybody. word ego mean to you? Like, do you oh, think, you want to know what it means to be? <laughs> what does it mean to you? You know what I mean. What does it mean if someone has a high ego? You know what I mean? Yeah, and, like because uh, that the, uh, you obviously can see someone who's yeah. not humble just from their posture. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, that's what I'm saying. You know, you know, everybody got egos in a different way. Like, for example, like you could be you know prideful. Like, you know, you got you been through something in life, mm-hmm. so you feel like like no one understands you. Like, like I feel like a lot of people that you know have egos are probably the most broken people. I feel. You. Like for example, like in high school, um, a lot of people didn't talk to me because they think I was like too hard. Like I was, you know, I was, I was funny, mm-hmm. but but when it came to like you know my craft, like I took it too serious. Yeah. So a lot of people probably like, oh, like this guy, like, like I felt like you know I came off with a big ego. Yeah, yeah. Like they thought I was cocky. They thought I was like a, you know, what I'm saying like a jog, you know, sports, you know, they thought I was cocky. They thought yeah, I had I ego. And it really wasn't even that I was I was all broken inside the whole time, mm. and nobody really knew. Yeah, because no one asked, bro. Back then, I bet no one really like, did anybody ask back then. Or nah, were you, nobody were you, really were you talking very, about very, that. Everybody very to yourself. Yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like people, the, the biggest egos I feel like are the most broken people, the hardest people, be crying. They fucking they be crying all night. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> that and that's, true, yeah. You no, know, that's what it. That's what it is, bro. Yeah. So um, so I talk about in that song, you know. I lost the people I lost some people Like my grandfather And you know I'm just talking about Like a bunch of Like you know My pride mm-hmm. And then um, Back to that book That I was talking about um, The Alchemist mm-hmm. The video I'm dropping the, uh, What are you talking about Do you know When you, when, when you dropping it I'm dropping on um, Today's 11th uh, Two days Two okay. days on the 13th The 13th Alright yeah. I'll make sure I put that In everywhere dude Yeah so I'm definitely Going to drop that um, right there And um, that's really starts So it's like my first song Talking about You know My upbringing mm-hmm. Like a little current event And the Alchemist Talking about my journey And I, um, I got the, the Eagles joint Probably coming after the tape Those three Those three songs Are on the tape Um, Called This World and the Next And I got some Other you know Really nice Nice I know. Are you songs. Are you uh, thinking about You know Later on in the future Maybe possibly working With other people You know what I mean uh, Really uh, yeah. mushing shit together You know what I mean you know, Yeah yeah Of course off. Um yeah, everything's really about growth. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just feel like right now I gotta get this out the way first. Yeah, no, I, I mean, yeah, I, I, got, I got features. First. I got features already, but they, um, mm-hmm. they just not out. I'm actually gonna be on um, my boy Jason's uh, um, my, my boy Jason's mixtape. Um, I'm on, I'm on one track. It's called Premonitions. Nice. Um, he probably gonna be dropping that soon. Busy man, bro. Busy yeah. man, dude. Um, he came out here from Dallas the other day. We t- I took him to the studio. To, you know, we did that. I'm gonna be on this project. So um, that's probably um, Working with people though. I'm definitely going to start Working with more people I just really got to get this Out of the way Because right now It's coming to me uh, I don't really make music Like um, I don't just make it Like oh I'm going to Write music today mm-hmm. Boom Like a lot of things Has to go off a of vibe Yeah I feel you I really got to fill it out And um, once, um, once Do you it, think Do you think your best song The best song comes to you Short or when you're Really paying attention How does the best song Come to you Like how does a song Come to you It will start with um, You know just like the, the cat, like the be like a cat, catchy word. Um, like for example, um, like do you walk I'll, in there? I'll, wanting I'll wake to talk up. about something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So like when I make music, like I sometimes I wake up. I swear I'll be having dreams. Sometimes I'll be writing, mm-hmm. and I'll wake up like oh shit, like like she'll just start flowing through my head, and I will just I will start writing like the like I will write the hook. Yeah, and then um. I definitely feel that over, you, Like yeah. throughout the whole night You're thinking about it so much That you have so much aspiration Yeah, yeah, yeah. For it. And yeah. then it just um, It'll just come to me I'll write the hook and shit And then um, I'll you know, I'll stay on that oh, But I hit I gotta hit a beat first Obviously um, mm-hmm. That's how I make my music I'll write the hook first And then I, try, I take a break from my music A lot too Like I'll, I'll write the main part Like you know The hook And then I'll take a break from it Get my mind off it And when I come back to it Just everything The verses And everything else Just starts you know, pouring down pouring through, yeah. Because if you stress about something too much, you, you can't want to do it. Yeah yeah, 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 you can't, you can't overthink it. Um, but it comes real natural. Um, that's why I really I take my time with it. Like, I feel like everything just um, 
it just it just um, you know it comes, comes together. together real nice. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. And they all they all got like meanings and shit like that. Like it, it's a real it's a real cool project. I can't wait to put it out and have everybody listen to it. It's, real, it's gonna be interesting to see um how people feel about it. Nice. We're also- all right, dude. So if I have to ask you one question, dude, uh huh. If you had to know a truth about one thing in the entire world, any anything. Anything, just one truth that the yeah. government has. Anything, what would it be? Mm. But you couldn't tell anybody. Wait, what? <laughs> you couldn't tell anybody. <laughs> Shit, um, I got one secret. Think about aliens, yeah, dude. Nah, yeah, it'll definitely be um. So yeah, what's up with the alien problem, man? I'll be thinking. Yeah, not not, not really the government. It'll be you know about probably more than the government you know, on some elite shit. Though. I want to know what all the you know all the real facts are in the world. Yeah, dude, just what? give me like a just give me a whole stack of all your information, right? Yeah, yeah. like I need the files, you know, all the unclassified shit. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Now nah, there's definitely aliens. So though. you would. So you. Yeah. You do. You believe in aliens? Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. dude. There's no way. I mean, if there was mm. a, a just a slight shot of us just like. A fucking cup of water just yeah. spills on that, then that or some dirt th- gets thrown on that, and then boom, it's a fucking human. That's yeah. what kind of evo- you know what evolution was. Dude. There's no fucking way we're the only people that mm-hmm. happened yeah, to. You yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So do you like? So do you believe in aliens? Do you believe in like a higher power as well? Uh, yes, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you, do you believe in like you know like just like uh, I don't believe in ghosts. That's the one. I don't know uh-huh. if I believe in ghosts, dude. Because I think that's a bunch of hoopla, bro. I never seen really? some shit. I don't know, dude. It's just like it's it's just like uh. I, be- I want to believe in ghosts, but it's just like it, it. It's about time when we don't see anything. You know um, what I mean? We don't see yeah, shit. I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like I, I mean, I definitely feel like people have the experiences. Shit, I mean, yeah, people don't even talk about. I don't really talk. About, <laughs> shit, I might have a couple myself. <laughs> I feel like you just got, you know. It depends on what you want to see in life. If you know. Energy is a big thing. Nah. If you're not on that frequency, maybe. Dude, if you if you on that frequency, you could if probably. If you want to get possessed by a demon, I'm pretty sure you. Yeah. Won't and that shit's. Not, I don't think that shit is. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't, you, be, I, you believe in magic? I low key. Do, I don't believe in like like. Nah, whoa. nah. Hey, hey, hey. I believe in like you know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I maybe I believe in science to a point yeah. where it could be magic. You know what I mean? Just yeah. like maybe like throw a few atoms together. All of a sudden, you got a yeah. wormhole. Like I don't fucking All know, right. dude. But I, I would love, I would love if there were like demons, ghouls, and monsters on this planet, yeah. bro. Because I don't think there would be, you know, such horrific crimes. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, like I said, man, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. If you think aliens came here, right? Do you think they would be come here to stay or to chill? Or nah, we you think we not we not a, we, the the vibes ain't, the frequencies ain't right. We not on the on the right vibes for them to yeah. even come. They, yeah, not right. Right now yeah. we the wrong you, time. You, you heard about that? Uh, what was that news article about the, uh, the TikTok? You have, the t- no, the, no, the the, the, is, the, the space. Some with the Israeli space uh, oh, chief, oh, or something like that. He was saying, like real, "There's like, there's like other life in saying, space." Yeah, he was saying that there's planet. other life in space. Yeah, yeah. I heard. I like mean, you some, know, I heard something I about it. Everything, but um, I wouldn't doubt it though. I really wouldn't, dude. But like, what are the chances? And I heard like I, someone told me this. I didn't read mm-hmm. the article. I want to read. The, I should have read the article prior before this. But yo, someone said it's like a whole civilization that's run by like 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 literally technology, and. Like, mm. how the fuck do they know that, dude? We don't even, like, come on, bro. I don't even know, like, this could be a bunch of bullshit, dude. These, these uh, scientists, these yeah, scientists. Yourself. Nah, dude, like, I want I want this shit to be yeah. true. I want this shit to be true. But how mm. do we know? You know what I mean? Like, how do you think we know? Yeah. Do you think we know because we have, mm. the government has contact, but, you know, reals, I think, dude, there has to be. Because uh, yeah. there's literally, there's classified information mm. that, yeah. that, that was that was out, that, that, you know, the government released saying that we have spacecrafts and materials from none of this world. What the fuck does that mean? You know what I mean? So I feel like we, we know a ton of shit that literally no one really just wants to talk about. Or we're just really not mentally prepared for that, yeah, honestly. No, yeah, a lot of... um. No one, no one's mentally prepared because you know all the people right now are doing exactly what you know what our government want, wants them to do. <laughs> like everybody's really everybody's whipped. <laughs> not everybody's whipped, but like yeah, I really feel like a lot of people um, have a mentality right now. Like especially with this, like this whole COVID thing is a perfect example. Mm-hmm. A lot of these people are are f- scared. Yeah, and um, of course you know the it virus has facts. People are dying. Yeah, of yeah. course, but. 
of just the article. Like if I show you something on the screen, you will be fucking mortified. Yeah, dude, and, and just crazy. If that that goes to show to how you. they they really could control how we act. That is one hundred percent. Um, true. so um, I feel like the right human, well, the normal human, like the normal person, the average, your average, you know, your average Joe of the street, um, your average American thinker, whatever. Um, they. They wouldn't be ready for that because they think it's a, you know they think all that stuff's a hoax because that's what's be, you know that's what's being pushed in the media. Yeah, dude, and, um, and it's fucked, dude, because like there's like so many sides to it for like no yeah. fucking reason. Like, why can't it just be a cold? Like, you know, why can't it just be mm. a sickness? And why can we all just fucking know it's a sickness and just cope yeah. with it together? It's ridiculous, dude. And yeah, um, not nah, for sure, but um, I really hope everybody you know who's going through some or knows anybody with a family member going through that. Like, I'll be really get through that shit. That's just no joke. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I feel. So do you want to give anybody like a shout out any boys? A shout out to anybody. Yeah, man. Um shout out to shout out to all my people, man. Shout out to my you know, my video guy, Mizu. Once again, shout out to my boy Jason. Stacks with Goblin, man, what's good? Shout out to my guy Ish. Shout out to Lexi. Shout out to Zaza, man. Free Za, man, for real. It's a whole nother, you know, whole nother <laughs> crazy shit going on right now out there. Can't be talked about yet. Yeah, dude, it's all right. You know, um, but yeah, man. Shout out to you know my family, everybody, everybody who's shout got out shorty, and shout out to yourself, dude. Shout yeah, shout out to myself, yourself, man. Give me a long way. Back, dude. I really, yeah, yeah. Dude. I give myself a pat, man. Yeah, I got a lot going on right now. Um, I'm really, I'm just really excited to get all my music out and you know share with everybody because man, it's like it's just it's coming from somewhere else and like like the energy right now. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like the whole frequency thing is just such a nice time right now to just. I feel like this whole you know this whole shutdown mm-hmm. um it, it wasn't really like a shutdown for me like i feel like it was a really good time for us to find out who we are as people i definitely and feel like that, I, like there's so much work that was done like within this whole time this whole quarantine and everything i got like this whole project was made you know during the quarantine actually shout out yeah we're, a lot of, and, a lot of um, time, shout, yeah shout out shit. to you know all the people i'm you know, i'm working with musically man shout out to um engineer man shout out bandana shout out you know Shout out to Tanner too, bro. I, um, the studio I go to actually is because of him. This whole project would have been able to be done if it wasn't for him, bro. He really, um, he motivated me really to go to that studio, nice and dude. that's where I made these songs. And like just the vibes about how everything came about, um, was really off of um, just you know all the all the people around me that you know motivated me, kept me humbled, and you know, of course, but it doesn't start with anybody but myself, like you said. Yeah, dude. So I appreciate that, man. Dude, if if you if if you can like ever, I always try to leave uh, with one piece of mind. Everybody, you know, before they leave my show, dude, it's like yeah. you always have yourself, dude. Like you're mm-hmm. always gonna be, you're always gonna, you're always gonna be in a shitty situation, dude. Yeah. I'm not gonna say nothing ever bad is gonna happen to you ever again. Yeah. But dude, the one thing you should know, dude, if there if there's like if there, you're in an alone room, dude, and you're really going through some tough time, uh-huh. bro, the one person you're always gonna have, dude, is your individual self, dude. Yeah. Like yourself, you wipe your own ass, dude. You do it yeah. for yourself, bro. <laughs> no one else does it for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, you're always gonna have yourself. So when you're by yourself and there's no one else, you have mm-hmm. yourself, dog. So you know, I want to thank you for coming on, bro. Definitely yeah, not for sure, man, COVID, bro. You want to say a little plug where to find your shit, dude? Before we go, yeah, man. Um, you follow- leave the zoo. Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at, you know, Forever Otok. Forever O-T-O-K. Wait, what was it? Otok Forever. <laughs> yes, yeah, wait. Yeah, just put O-T-O-K on Instagram. I think my Instagram, yo. <laughs> yeah, you going to put that yeah, shit I'll right put here? put that shit. I'll put, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll put the yeah, link. I'll put Otok everything Forever, in. Forever Otok. Yeah. Something like so uh, that. where they can find you on YouTube, dude? Yeah, on YouTube at just O-T-O-K. Gotcha. That's my channel, you know, subscribe and shit like that. We got a whole lot of, you know, video crazy, dropping on crazy Tuesday, videos coming. Dude. Video Can't dropping. wait to share with y'all, man. It's gonna be real, real, real crazy time. You know, this is the start of everything. So if you tune in now, you got a whole, uh, whole movie to watch. Every how everything unfolds. And I appreciate everybody. You know, all the love and support from everybody, especially you, man. Thank you for having me on your no show. Problem, um, and I Thank just hope you everybody, you know, keeps growing and you know we're we're one step closer to who we want to be in life. Who we already are is just about you know showcasing this to the world. And you know, it starts with a place like this. Yeah, I feel you. So I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Yeah, I hope everybody got a lot to know pleasure. about Derek, dude. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Fucking episode seven, baby. Episode seven. That's Come on, episode. tune in, baby. That's Thank it. you for watching. And we here on the Dive Deeper podcast. You know, first freestyle. It's being Vic. OTOK. Nothing else, man.
I seen hustlers make it off that corner Selling white and I seen others on that corner They hold life, that's life I be running through the jungle I can tell you about my life To me, I like to take my chances So I roll the dice Every time you see me roll, four, five, six And every time I caught a pick, I ran it back for six First I get the bag, then I get your bitch In that Rolls Royce, I'ma blow ass a kiss Them shooters in that Buick, they never miss Before I started rapping, I was riling, hitting licks Cloth cut different, got shoes you can't fit Cause I got some problems that the Lord can't fix In a couple years, I'ma die and get rich On the Dive Deeper Podcast, it's just me and Vic <laughs> I'm out of here, y'all <laughs> Let's get it